Hi, my name is Keith Smith. I'm a freelance PHP programmer, and I've been a freelance PHP programmer since 2006, and I'd like to teach you everything I know. In this video, I'd like to cover how to add an SSH user on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Okay, let's get started. On the left-hand side, you'll see are my notes. On the right-hand side, you will see the uh, terminal. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create the user. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this command, and I'm gonna paste it. And it's sudo, become the super user, add user, and default is a username. That could be Keith, Bill, uh, Tom, whatever. Okay, and so I'm going to hit enter. Okay, it's going to ask for my password because I want to be the super user. Okay, it wants a password. Enter one and save it. wants to retype it. Okay, once your full name, you can add all this information. I don't, I just keep going by. And then I type in a, a capital Y and hit enter. Okay, now that, that user's been added. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is we need to update the uh, SSH configuration file. So let me copy this. And there is a article associated with this video that's a companion. It will have all these commands in it and a little bit of other information uh, that you'll want to know. And that way, uh, you open up the article, you can just copy and paste all these uh, commands. Okay, so the, the next command is sudo become super user by, which is my editor of choice, the path forward slash etc forward slash ssh forward slash and then the name of the configuration file is sshd underscore config. I hit enter. Boom. Okay. Now I know that this is in here. Let's let's check and see if, if uh, uh, allow users is in here. Okay. So this is the next step we want to do. We need to find the allow, uh, allow users line. Okay. So let's copy that. Let's paste it over here. You see what I did? I, I, I made a forward slash, and then I'm going to paste what I'm searching for. This is a search and buy. Okay, I'm going to hit enter. The pattern's not found. Okay, so that means that this command or this line is not there. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom, and I'm going to add it. So I'm going to hit I for insert. I'm going to hit uh, enter. Uh, I'm going to put a bunch of uh, hash marks here which is a comment. And so I can make a little section for what I'm doing. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna add allow users, and then it's gonna be like, like it shows, user one, user two, and new user. But in this case, I already have a user, so I need to add that one in here. So I'm gonna copy this. And I'm gonna paste it over here, put in a space, and then the existing user is Keith, and it's important that you put that all these users in here, otherwise you won't be able to, to uh, log in uh, via shell or SSH. And so here we go, Keith, and then the one the user I'm just adding is default. Hit escape, hit the colon key, and then write a W for write and a Q for quit, hit enter. Okay, so we've done that. Now we want to, uh, I need to go back in there. So let's go back in there. I'm gonna up arrow key one, it stored that command in my history. I'm gonna start over. Now, now I'm going to not start over, but I'm gonna uh, be able to edit that file. Okay, so here we go. Um, password authentication. We need to search for that line. Okay, I'm gonna hit the forward slash, and then I'm gonna right mouse click uh, password and see it's already uh, uh, highlighted. And then I'm gonna hit enter. Now this is password authentication is yes. 
I'm going to hit the left arrow key and I'm going to hit I'm going to hit the delete key. Okay, so there we go. So now I need to go back to colon W for right, Q for quit. Bam. Okay, we've done that. We have two or three more steps. So we're going to restart SSH. So copy this command, paste this command. It's sudo, become the sudo user, system control, restart SSH. Okay, enter. Bam. Okay. So now to test this, what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of this because I'm logged in as Keith. I want to exit out as Keith. And let's minimize all this stuff so I can get um, so I can get putty going. Okay, now putty is look what it where it's at. I want to erase Keith and I want to put in default, which is the name of the user. So we're gonna SSH in as default. And then my IP, at my IP address is 192.168.1.81. I'm going to hit it in. Let's see what happens. Uh, it wants my password. So let me give it the password. What's going on? All right, we had success. Who am I? Bam. Default. Okay, default is a user. Default is a user. Okay, so let's go back to our list here real quick. And we were able to SSH in. That was the last thing we needed to do to verify that our user was uh, able to access the, the shell or, or access the server uh, with a login uh, into SSH. And so we've had success, yay! Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new content. If you found this content useful, by all means, give it a thumbs up. I'd like to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment. And subscribe to my newsletter. Below you will find a link, and you'll want to subscribe because there's some information I'm going to let out that probably will not make it in, into the videos. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.